half, I am going to dealing with those seven categories. Those seven categories can now phylum for animal, division for phylum for plant and division for animals, class, order, family, genus and species. Might have remembered uh, the code word which I have taught you for those seven categories. What is that? Keep pots clean or family gets clean. So by the way, I am uh, writing here three different species here three different species so they are potato makoi and mirindia these three different species they have some basic some similar categories among them and these uh, basic these similar these common characters these similar features constitute a genus yes one of the similar categories that they constitute a fruit which is berry so upon these similar categories these three different species constitutes a single genera and the name of that genera is solenum yes upon those similar features of these two different species a uh, genera solenum is formed now let us write the scientific names for these three so the scientific name of potato is solenum tube Tuberosum, yes, solenum tuberosum. So I am writing solenum like this solenum tuberosum. Scientific name for Makoi is solenum nigrum and for Bringer solenum melangina. Oh, yes, yeah. so these are the scientific names of potato makoi and brinjal. Now, I am citing here two more uh, genus, two more genera similar to this. One of them is Petunia and other one is Datura. Yes. Now you can say that what is genus? So genus is a group of uh, species which have common characters in them. Yes. Genus is a group of closely related species. Now these solenum and these three uh, different genera they also have some basic, some similar features in them and they constitute a group. Yes, um, on, upon looking those similar features, they together constitute a group which is a family. So, what is this family? That is Sornesi. Yes, Sornesi 
and so but the number of closely relation the number of uh, the more relation uh, between the individuals is more in species as compared to as compared here here the closely related uh, features are more in species as compared to genera and family now another uh, family which i am citing here that is conval bulesi yes con wall bulesi yes now these two families now they have some common floral characters upon which they constitute a group order yes among floral characters they constitute a group order and what are the order is polynomials and seven nails the seven nails now this order they constitute a class that is dicotyledonate yes now this dicotyledonate constitutes angiosperm and this angiosperm makes a kingdom a highest category that is plantae yes those seven categories three different species have some common features on them and constitute a genera solanum and they upon uh, looking on these similar features the solanum and petunia natura these three genera constitute a single group which is family solaceae and convolvulaceae convolvulaceae these two have some common floral characters upon which a new group order has been generated and what is that that is polynomials and seven nails now these two makes a class which is dicotyledonate and that class goes up to the division which is angiosperm and this angiosperm constitutes a highest category among them which is plant now you might think that the number of characters the number of organisms is increasing as we are going up yes the number of organisms so i can write here the number of organisms is increasing as we move in upward so that's why the kingdom is known as higher category and the species is lower yes the kingdom is highest and the species is lower category but the number of common characters the number of common features is decreasing as we are moving upward yes so number of common features or characters is decreasing
Now we talk about taxonomic hierarchy. It was first given by Carlos Linnaeus. Yes, taxonomic hierarchy was first given by Carlos Linnaeus. And on the first time, Linnaeus has given only five categories. Yes. So, taxonomic hierarchy. First given by Linnaeus, and he gave only five categories. He introduced five categories, and what are they? They are C O G. S and V. Yes. What are these five categories? These are C O G S V. Ye clear? That what is C here? C is class. O is order. G is genera, genus. S is species. And V is variety. But some biologists, some scientists have cleared it and removed variety from these categories. Yes, some biologists, some scientists have deleted variety from here and introduced, have added three more categories. And what are they? They are kingdom, phylum, and family. Yes, they added, they, firstly, they have deleted variety from the five categories which are introduced by linears and added three more categories which is kingdom, phylum and family. Now four, now the five plus three is equal to seven categories. Which was known today.